Hello and welcome back to the Helioscope YouTube channel. It's me, Layla. I've been too busy to make videos because I've been working really hard on this comic book project called Once Upon a Time at the End of the World. It is out now in comic book shops right now, um, but I haven't had that much time to do video work. Um, but I had a moment at the studio the other day to take some video footage. So here's that. I asked everybody the question, uh, what's something that you've learned in your comic book journey that you still use on every comic book project? And here's my answer first. One of the most useful pieces of information my anatomy instructor in college said was that it's really useful to learn how to draw a human skull from heart because you, the human skulls are in so many things that you draw in illustration and comics. To this day, almost every single comic book project I've worked on has a skull in it in some place. As you can see here, I'm able to uh, like kind of sketch it from heart. It's not exact and it would probably benefit me to look at some reference, but for speed reasons, I'm able to just knock this out. I think that the most important thing is having natural poses and natural expressions. Um, and I think that you need to have a foundation of um, anatomy. So drawing from life, drawing from photos, drawing pictures of your, you know, drawing it yourself um, until you get really comfortable with gestures, you know, doing um, even short, like in live drawing sessions they have, or figure drawing sessions, they have uh, these like, you know, 10 to 30 second gesture drawing poses that people do so that you have to draw really, really fast in order to get the gesture. And I think that's a really good way to work. It's kind of like the way animators work. And I think that we're kind of a little adjacent to that in a way, but I just think getting getting a natural pose and natural expressions really helps with the flow of the story. Uh, a trick I learned from Andrew Loomis that people call hanging a head on the horizon. Uh, it's a way of arranging figures in perspective um, so that, that characters all look like they're standing on the same floor and that they're all the correct heights. Okay, if I'm drawing a figure and I know that my eye level is here, say around the crotch. Um, if I want to put somebody further away from the camera, how do I make it look like they're in, like they're the same size and standing on the same floor? Uh, by having the horizon cut through them at the same point as the initial figure. So I'm just drawing this one kind of key figure here with the horizon going uh, halfway down between his head and his feet. Everybody else I draw who's the same height and standing on the same floor, the horizon will cut through them at the same place. So if there's somebody back there, it's gonna hit them there. If there's somebody way back here, it's gonna hit them there. If there's somebody way up in the foreground, it's gonna go through them like that. Jack, what is a useful piece of information that you learn and use in every comic that you draw? Uh, when drawing a background and wanting to make it seem like it has a lot of depth, uh, but not wanting to go too heavy into the detail, having large shapes in the foreground uh, and then smaller shapes in the background allows for that sense of depth without ever getting too much detail and making the page too busy and that allows the uh, panel both to look better visually and uh, get drawn faster. Um, so like when you're drawing a figure moving around and you're sort of sketching out their little skeleton before you put their little skins on, um, I always find it helpful to imagine that their bones are made of rubber so that like they're moving naturally rather than like stiff, you know? Um, thanks mailman. Um, <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so like I, I pay attention to where like the knees and elbows are, but, but it's more of a curvy knee and elbow than it is like, you know, a joint. So. That's what I learned. And then it makes everything look good. Ultimately, my piece of advice that I always think about is like for art in general, creativity in general. 
Miss from Andy Warhol. He, he said, uh, don't worry too much about making the art, whether it's good or not. Just make it and let other people decide whether they like it or not, or whether they think it's good or not. And while they're trying to decide, just make more art. Thanks so much for watching our video. We hope you're having a great time making comics or reading comics, and we will see you here next time.